North Palm Beach today. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. Cold though, I've got my extra thick skiing gloves on today. Uh, there we are, you can see just to, to prove it because uh, it is a cold weather. But um, I know compared to many parts of the world, five degrees isn't cold at all. 35 Fahrenheit. So it's 6.45 a.m. here, just after 6.45, heading up towards 7 o'clock, and the sunrise is due at about 5 minutes to 7, so we should be seeing it in about 10 minutes. Here we are, that's the main thing, we're here, and uh, I hope that you um, enjoy what we're going to see. As I said, we're on the land of the, uh, the native people, the Garigal people, uh, the Aboriginal people who've lived here for thousands of years. And uh, as always, I show respect to uh, the people of the Garigal, past, present and future, uh, and recognize them as the traditional owners of the I'm land. I'm going to wander up towards the north end of the beach. Uh, now, one of my uh, local followers, Ellie, we saw, oh, what have we got out there? What have we got out there? Oh, we've got dolphins, folks. We've got dolphins. I promise you dolphins. And we have dolphins. There in the water ahead of us. There's a pot of about four of them. Crossing right in front of us now, you can see them very clearly.
a good cameraman and give you these shots of the dolphins here at Palm Beach. Of course, with nature, here we are, they've gone back in the other direction now. You never know with nature what they're going to do, if they're going to be there or not. You never know for sure. These are just cruising up and down. Uh, the same area of water. Obviously, there's uh, food for them here. Uh, and, oh, what have we got here? We've got some more dolphins here coming along on the left. Another pod of dolphins are joining them. You see that? How about that, folks? How exciting. I've never seen so many at one time. I've never seen so many at one time. I do hope you're enjoying this.
They seem to be splashing each other. Well, I'll tell you a story about dolphins here at Palm Beach. Uh, you may have heard it before uh, on the um, on the lighthouse tour. But there's an Aboriginal uh, myth um, from Aboriginal. Uh, uh, they call it the dream time, the stories of the past that Aboriginals tell and pass on. Uh, the story was that once upon a time, the area between Barrenjoey Lighthouse and what we now know as Palm Beach, there was no sand dune here. I'll just do a quick spin around and you can see what I mean. Going back to this sand dune that I'm showing you now, uh, once upon a time there was no sand dune here according to the dream time and the, the water used to stretch through here and um, there was an occasion when a young Aboriginal girl was sitting on a, a rock at the south end of this beach, that's at the Palm Beach end and um, saw a baby dolphin that had got itself onto a sand dune here and couldn't get away and she came down into the water between here and Baron Joey. Uh, incidentally the word Baron Joey is an Aboriginal word. It, it, it means small wallaby or small kangaroo. Anyway she came down onto the sand dune to rescue the baby dolphin and the baby dolphin uh, she managed to get it uh, loose to get it free to get off into the water but then she was attacked by a pod of, a pod of uh, sharks who came in or one or two sharks came in and attacked her and the dolphins rescued her the dolphins rescued her from the sharks and she was able to get back to safety and that, that's a mythology, uh, a, a dream time story that I was told, or I heard told to me by uh, a professor of Aboriginal studies here in Sydney. So they're a bit further out now, you can see them out there splashing away, looks like they're starting to head out to sea, looks like they're having a bit of a race actually. <laughs> place to be uh, on a, a, a gorgeous Friday morning, uh, Palm Beach, Sydney, Australia. I'll tell you, it's, it's getting warm now. The hair's a mess, but there we are. So look, um, the, the dolphins seem to have gone. <clears throat> yeah, I think they gets all over the place. Um, but I'm, I'm so glad you got to see them. Down there at the base there is the Palm Beach uh, swimming pool, uh, the Palm Beach changing rooms there, and behind those changing rooms on the, the, art, at the Art Deco chessing rooms uh, there's the Palm Beach Surf Club. More houses there. Here you can see close up the um, South Palm Beach Surf Club. We've got two surf clubs here. And uh, for those of you in, in the UK particularly who may be familiar with what I'm talking about, that's where they film Home and Away. Uh, some, it's a soapy that's very popular in the UK, 
Uh, well, that's the uh, that's the main center, and that building is the main base for uh, over the way. Now looking out to West Head, which is directly opposite us there. Uh, West Head is currently being renovated. There's a new viewing platform being built up there. So at the moment uh, it's uh, inaccessible. But we'll go up there when the work's been done. Uh, yes, Maeve, it is very clean. Uh, if uh, it wasn't clean, the dolphins wouldn't be there. The dolphins will only go into the waters uh, when it's clean and also um, the whales we've noticed are coming in closer to the shore and we believe that's because again the waters here are so clean. Well, the day's arrived, the sun is up, I'm going to say goodbye to you now. There we are, um, hair still sticking up in the air next to my hat. I just crawled out of bed about an hour and a half ago. Um, thank you so much for being here, uh, my friends. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye now. Uh, another tour in a week or so. Um, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to you all. Um, from Palm Beach in Sydney, Australia. Love and peace from Richard J. Your friend. Goodbye.
See ya. Ha, 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 ha.